Senator Pauline Hanson. Great to see you. Uh, I've got to start with Thank something you. that I find extremely difficult to believe. A uh, report today on, I think it's uh, 4BC in Brisbane, uh, suggesting that Brisbane might change its name, the Palaszczuk government's going to do this, in the lead up to the Olympic Games. Uh, the Greens apparently are pushing for this. Uh, the name of Brisbane would be Mianjin, and they would do that prior to the 2032 Olympics. Please, Pauline, don't fall off your chair. <laughs> it's, how insane is this to actually want to change the name of Brisbane that's been called Brisbane for what, 150 years plus? And generations have grown up under Brisbane, all our birth certificates, marriage certificates, where were you born, Brisbane, Australia, all our tourism, people overseas know it as Brisbane, and we're going to change it for a name that I can't even remember what you said. Within a matter of few seconds, I can't remember. And I have no intentions of actually wanting to remember. So the fact is, to me, it'd be Brisbane. This is why the Palaszczuk government has to go. And we're talking about 3% of our population is actually Indigenous, but how many actually do live in the area of Brisbane? So wanting to change a name to some Aboriginal name, the same as they did with Fraser Island, is absolutely ridiculous. I hope Palaszczuk is just thrown out on her ear at the next election. I hope Queenslanders realise she has to go and the Labor Party have to go. Well, the problem is, Pauline, of course, that uh, Anastasia Palaszczuk and her government, if you read this story, you'd think it was made up, but they're quite capable of actually pushing this down the road. And one wonders, and one only wonders, Pauline, what will Queen Street be named? What, I mean, what else are we going to change the name of in Brisbane? Oh, look, they spoke about it years ago, a few years ago, about burly heads. They want to change all the names, the Aboriginal names, um, to people, you know. Let's common sense prevail, will we? You know, the cost to the taxpayer to change the name from Brisbane to another name, um, it is absolutely ridiculous, Steve. And this is where they're headed. Palaszczuk is headed with the treaty for the Aboriginal groups and organisations, about 100, 150 here in Queensland, supported by David Chris Foley, so he supports this as well. This is the Liberal National Party in Queensland and no consultation with the people of Queensland, you know. So if this is going to be an election issue, I, I tell people now, we will oppose it. One Nation will oppose this. We will not allow it to happen. We will stop it on the floor of Parliament. So if you want the name to stay as Brisbane, then I suggest you make sure you vote for One Nation because I wouldn't support, I don't, I don't trust the LNP, I do not trust the Palaszczuk government and what they've got in line for Queensland, you know, we're going to, you know, who knows what, what other things they're going to um, bring in for Queensland. So, you know, you need some common sense to prevail here. It's ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous, Steve.